Jack Sehl, welcome back to Aldershot Town. Cheers, Steve. You were happy to re-sign? Yes. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, I think it was the manager more than more than anything. Um, what with Garrett Barnett, and just like like his ways, like the, the person he is, the sessions, the management skills he's got. It's just it was a no-brainer, really. And Aldershot Town fans know all too well what he's capable of. But as a player, how do you how do you assess his style, his his man management skills? He um, well, he, he was he was um, obviously Martin Allen was the manager at Barnet, and he sort of was the assistant. Um, so he didn't really have management skills there, but you could you could just tell that the the training sessions that he did, that the way he was around the training ground, just everything about him. you just enjoyed being there, you enjoyed being around him and, and doing things football wise. So yeah, that was that was the one for me. And you said that was that's one of the deciding factors. You've you've had interest from other. From other teams, that's that kind of sealed the deal for you. Um, yeah, I had a, a few clubs, um, but obviously knew in the back of my head that I could come back because he offered me a deal. Um, I was always, I think, going to sign back for all the shot unless I got an amazing offer somewhere else. Obviously, you can't turn down because there's a job at the end of the day. But um, yeah, I was going to come back to all shot definitely. Yeah, that's very good. And did do you think we were, were you happy with your form last season? Do you think we saw the best of of Jack Savile? Um, no, I don't because I've got a few, I've got I've got too many injuries last year. I sort of I did my neck and my hamstring, and it, I got I sort of I had a good run in the game. Where we I think I played maybe fifteen in a row. We kept maybe seven eight clean sheets or, or whatnot, and that was a good run. Um, I think I played well in some games, but I didn't I didn't play as well as I can. And uh, under Gary, once I get a good run in the team get fit, I'm uh, definitely looking to kick on this year. And you're looking to play more games than, than you did, I presume? Oh, for sure, yeah. I'm looking. Oh, I'm going to work hard and hopefully get selected for the first game of the season, then I'm going to look to stay in the team for the for the whole season. I want to play every game this season, yeah. That's got to be your number one personal ambition. Is, is there any other any other targets? Have, have, have you spoken to Gary about, about how he sees the season? Not yet, not yet. I'm going to speak to him in a minute. Um, but yeah, just to, just to play as many games as I can, play well, do my stuff for the team. And hopefully we can kick on as a team and, and get in the playoffs or even get promoted. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> well, that would be nice. And Gary's first season last time, that's exactly what happened. We'll, we'll see. And summer is getting shorter and shorter. The first pre-season friendly is, is the 1st of July. Yeah, see that. Right? That's, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, sure foot, I'm sure footballers enjoy their summer as much as anybody, but... You, there was a buzz looking forward to getting back, particularly a new manager, a new era. Definitely, you, you, throughout the season, when it starts toward the end, if like last season, if you don't have much to sort of play for, you're playing for yourself, of course you are. But we're sort of in the middle. You can't get relegated. You can't go up. You sort of there's talk in the change room about oh, I can't wait for the summer. I can't wait for the summer. But then you do two or three weeks of your summer, and you're thinking I want to go in and, and train and see the boys and see see the gaffer and have a laugh with everyone, do you know what I mean? So, works both ways really. And one of the things about Gary is, he does seem a, a player's kind of manager of, of being up for a laugh, of being quite open, clearly having the distance that you need between the gaffer and, and his squad, but no, he does encourage that kind of, that personality. Definitely, but he is the manager as well, so as much as we can laugh and joke with him because he's got a great personality, you, we've got to understand that he is the manager and we've got to do as we're told and, and sort of do what he wants, do you know what I mean? So if we get that good balance, then I'm sure it's going to work well.